Welcome friends. This is the continuation of our series AJAX. In this tutorial, we will learn about the body of the AJAX function to be called. What goes inside the body of the function is the prime importance. Once you master the skills of the writing body of the AJAX function, it is pretty easy to learn and start writing AJAX script. So if you recall our previous tutorial, this was how the function load XML doc look like. And this is how it looks like when you write the AJAX stuff. So this is the AJAX stuff. Let us understand this function line by line. First, we are declaring a variable called XML HTTP. XML HTTP is an object inbuilt in JavaScript. First, we check if the browser supports XML HTTP request object or simply XHR. If it is supports, then we create a new object of XML HTTP request. However, in case of Internet Explorer, we need to create an ActiveX object. Then, there are number of states an XHAR object goes from. Whenever Whenever the state of the object changes, we call the function. This is the inner function. Now, if you recall, if the ready state is 4 and status code is 200, that is, if the server has loaded all of the contents of a particular request and the status code is 200, that means, the response is received and everything is ok. We retrieve the text, the contents using XML HTTP dot response text method and place it as inner HTML of the division here. So the content which is fetched goes here. So whenever there is response available from the server, it is received and fetched here. Then if there is no change in the state, we open up a file with request method get and the URL of the file ajx intro doc text. This is the relative URL and set its asynchronous property to true. You can omit this as it is always true by default and then send the request to the server to open up this URL. So whenever a response is received, this cycle is repeated. So the entire life cycle is first to create an object, then define a function for ready state change, and then what if the response is received to be done. And the last step is to open the URL. Here you can pass a number of parameters if it is a PHP script rather than just a plain text or an XML file. So this is how inner workings of an XHR object are done. Thanks for visiting this tutorial. Thank you.